Hello, my beautiful Aries. How are you guys? I hope you guys are all doing well and amazing. Um, we are going to do your February monthly reading now. So it is a general reading, which means it may or may not resonate for you. All the information you need for your reading is going to be in the description box below, as well as information for personal readings. Pretty much any information you need is going to be in the description box below for you guys. So we are going to just go ahead and get into it. Archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages with a very clear understanding. From my very beautiful Aries, may the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Show me Aries energy, please, for the month of February. What is going on with my beautiful Aries for the month of February, please? May the messages that need to be heard the very most please come through. And may they please find those who need to hear them. Aries energy, please, for the month of February. Very clear messages. All right, Aries, let's see what we have going on for you. So Aries, we have the death in the reverse as kind of the supportive energy, the general energy, everything else is going to kind of tie back into this. Now, right underneath of that, we do see the Queen of Pentacles. So I feel like there's an ending and I feel Aries, you guys are still dealing with the aftermath. Now, I feel like you guys have already closed this out. You guys have already you know, started your healing process. You guys have really done an amazing job with letting go of this person. But when I mean the aftermath, I mean the kind of resentments, the kind of hurt, the kind of self-esteem issues and things that are left after we deal with a very traumatic connection, okay? And I feel like that's kind of where we're at. That's why the death is coming up in the reverse because there's still some aspects of it that are still very much present and alive for us things that you still haven't really fully been able to heal from or let go of yet. But I see you in that process. You know, in the recent past, you were the queen of cups. I'm feeling a really sad energy from this, okay? I feel like you guys were very, very, um, you know, emotional. Some of you could have been dealing with depression, um, really dealing with the feelings and the leftover, you know, the leftover pain from this connection, from letting it go, from moving forward. Um, you know, you guys, for a lot of you, especially if this is resonating, you know, you had a very traumatic connection, okay? It was, even with a narcissistic kind of person, a very, you know, person who caused you a lot of pain, who was kind of a mentally and emotionally abusive to you. And you're still dealing with the wounds of that. That's how this feels to me, that you're making progress. As you can see, the Queen of Cups, she's in the past now, okay? Because I don't feel like you are as in the moment as you were you're not as emotional about it you're not as depressed about it you're you're learning to heal you're learning to move forward i feel like now it's the energy of where do i go from here what are my next steps in the center of it all so in the center of your reading like the focus of everything we have the knight of pentacles in the reverse so this is not knowing what your next step to take is you know the knight of pentacles is all about planning and figuring out where to go from here and what the next step is i feel like you're just not sure you're just not sure what the next step is. Not sure where to go from here. Yeah, because the challenge is the moon card, okay? So I feel like there's still things that are hidden from you. And I feel like this is stuff that you do have the knowledge within. <clears throat> and that's why the sun, you know, it enlightens. It lightens the dark. The sun also represents enlightenment. I do feel like you guys have... Um, the answers, they just need to be illuminated for you, okay? There's still some things because of all the emotions. I feel like you've been having a hard time seeing past all of the emotions. They've been kind of clouding things for you. And I feel like that's why you're just not sure what the next step is to go. You want to be happy. You know what you want. You do. You know what you want. I feel like you're just not sure how to get there, how it's going to come in, if it's going to come in. There's a lot of doubt, a lot of fear surrounding it, but you do know what you want. 
in your conscious thoughts, we have the Ten of Cups. Wanting to be happy. Wanting to be happy. Wanting that emotional fulfillment, that family, you know, that joy that surrounds that. And the Ten of Cups is complete emotional fulfillment. You know what you want and you know what you're worthy of. You know that that's what you deserve. And after everything that you've been through, I feel like there's just some fears and some doubts um, <clears throat> surrounding how to attain it, how to obtain it. So at this, in the subconscious level, so, you know, things that we might not be aware of that are, you know, driving us, we have the six of swords in the reverse. So I feel like you feel like you haven't overcome this yet. And that's why you can't fully move forward because there's still a lot that you're dealing with, a lot that you need to heal from, um, a lot of work that you need to put in on yourself to fully get past this. And I feel like this is making you feel stuck. This is making you feel like you can't have this Ten of Cups. You can't have the Ten of Cups while, you know, you haven't fully healed, you haven't fully moved on. But that's just not true. Healing is a process, okay? It is a process. When we go through things, you know, we grieve it just like the grieving process. But happiness, true happiness comes from within. And the fact that you guys have made such beautiful progress, you should be happy about, you should be proud of yourself for, um, <clears throat> instead of being upset that you're not where you want to be, you're not fully over it, you're not fully healed, that's okay. Because you're getting there every day. You're making huge steps, leaps and bounds every day. There was a time where you were in this Queen of Cups all the time, depressed, emotional, couldn't think right, couldn't get past the feelings, you know, really missing this person still. There was a time where you were still, you know, in this connection with them, being manipulated, being hurt. So look how far you've come. The fact that you have started to heal, you have started to let go. You guys need to be proud of yourself and happy, happy with yourself for the progress that you've made. And there should be an understanding that it only gets better from here. You know, what's coming is far better than what's behind you. <clears throat> There's a need for you to get things out. The throat chakra is starting to tickle, okay? So when I, I like to pay attention to my body when we do this, so I, I feel like it gives extra messages. Guys, I'm telling you, I feel like there's some things that you still need to release. Um, even if you, it's not probably a good idea to reach out and, you know, get this stuff out with this person. But there needs to be a friend, a family member, even, you know, a professional, or even if it's just a journal, that you write down these emotions, the things that you still need to heal from, the things that you still need to get out and release. Um, that's something that's really going to help your progress, but you've made beautiful progress. And no, you might not be completely over it, but you're getting there. And you can be happy in the meantime. It is okay for you to be happy. It is okay for you to not be okay all of the time. You know, that's just not how the healing process works. I feel like you don't need to know exactly what steps you're going to take now. And there's a need to really be present in the moment here. There's a need for you guys to really not worry about what happened in the past or stress about what's coming in the future, how you're going to get there, when you're going to be over this, and just really be present in each moment. And I do feel like that's going to bring a lot of happiness on its own. Um, you're going to start to see a big difference when you just start staying present in the moment. Because, guys, there is beautiful things coming in for you. And I feel like Spirit's trying to bring this stuff to your attention so that you can start to <clears throat> feel happier. You can attract better things. You can start to really be kind and self-compassionate so that you can, you know, be ready to receive this stuff that's coming in. <clears throat> in, your, uh, in your immediate future, we have the Ace of Pentacles. So I'm really feeling... You know, there's new opportunities coming in for you. There's solid, stable offers. I'm definitely going to clarify this. Um, but I do feel like someone's coming in for you. There's going to be an offer, and it's going to be a game changer, okay? With this Ace of Pentacles, this is a solid, stable offer. And this feels like the real deal. So I want to clarify and see what this is about more. And I feel like for some of you, it's not even just, um, you know, a romantic offer. I feel like business... Um, things like that. There's going to be either a business partnership offered to you. There's going to be opportunities in your business. If you have a business or a promotion, there's doors that are starting to open up for you. And I feel like spirit is just trying to 
get you ready to receive the blessings that are coming in. You guys have chosen. When you guys chose to heal and release the past, you guys chose to go in a new direction. And this new direction is filled with beautiful things, okay? You're on a new timeline. You guys are going in a beautiful new direction. And Spirit wants you to be ready for the things that are coming in for you. And a part of that is just being kind to yourself. You know, we need to love ourselves the way that we love, like, our children, okay? Okay. Um, you wouldn't want your child sitting there beating themselves up for things like this. Um, you wouldn't want your child being hard on themselves um, for not being over it. You would understand that your child's making beautiful progress. You would understand and, you know, want your child to see that. So we need to be like that with ourselves. We need to love ourselves that way. We need to be kind to ourselves when we're having a, a you know, a harder day or, a day where we're a little more down. We need to be compassionate. We need to take care of ourselves instead of beating ourselves up. So I feel like Spirit's trying to get you ready for the things that are coming in for you with this Ace of Pentacles here. So let's clarify. Let's see, see. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles for Aries, please. Why is this Ace of Pentacles here for Aries? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here for Aries? Yeah, the hair font. Guys, you guys could be meeting the person that you're going to marry. Um, this is a this is definitely a solid, stable, committed offer. It could be with a Taurus. Um, it doesn't have to be. Um, you guys have a lot of water here as well. And we all have so many different signs. That's why I don't generally like to say signs because we all have so many different signs in our chart that it really could be any sign. But this offer is going to be solid, stable. This this is the real deal. This very well could be the person that you guys are meant to spend your life with. And Spirit's trying to get you to be loving and compassionate to yourself so you can be in a place of being ready to receive it, to being ready for this when it comes in. Guys, and if this is, you know, <clears throat> I'm also getting that, like, especially if you own your own business. I don't know why this is messages coming through so strong, but if you guys own your own business, you guys are building really solid foundations in the month of February, and new opportunities are coming in that are going to cement that, okay? Doors are definitely going to be opening. There's going to be you know, a lot, a lot of growth in the month of February for you. Tell me about this Ace of Pentacles in the hair front, please. Why is the Ace of Pentacles in the hair front here? Wow, the Four of Wands. So, two of the marriage cards here right now. So, this is solid, stable commitment. Um, this is a coming together, having something to celebrate. You know, if this is business, you guys are going to be hitting milestones, okay? milestones, opportunities, offers that are coming in, finances are going to improve dramatically, okay? Solid foundations, um, and you're going to have reasons to celebrate, reasons to be joyful. This is definitely an offer. This is definitely someone from they, that <clears throat> you could very well marry. This is definitely an offer, you know, of that level, of that caliber, okay? This is beautiful. So Spirit's trying to show you, you know what? What you what is coming is far better than what's behind. You guys have been through so much, and there's a reason for everything. We don't always understand, you know, why we have to go through the things we do. But I do feel like everything happens for a reason. And even, you know, if this reading is resonating you, even this is for a reason. The Spirit's trying to prepare you. Like, you know what? You've been through a lot. We know you've been through a lot, but you're putting in the work. You're doing your healing, and you're getting blessings because of that. You are, they're about to show you why this is your true path, why you were meant to, you know, move away from that person, why you were meant to let that go, you know, so that you could have all of this, okay? This is beautiful. And I know, like, it's that phrase, like, you know, hard fought and sorely won is coming because you guys had to fight for this. You guys had to go through, you know, hell with this last person for this to get these lessons, to get this growth. Um, I feel like a lot of you got a lot of spiritual growth from this because I feel like you guys have really delved into your spirituality since this connection. 
So this was not for nothing. That connection was not for nothing. There was lessons and it was meant to guide you to the path that you're meant to be on with the person that you are meant to spend your life with. Okay. When this happens, you're going to not only understand why everything happened the way it did, but you're going to be grateful that it did. Things are going to be so amazing and opportunities, everything is going to be so aligned. You know, when we are aligned and on our path, things do just open up for us. Doors do just open. So I do feel like that's what you guys are going to be experiencing. Synchronicities, alignment, you know, the people meant for you, the opportunities meant for you, they're coming in, okay? They are coming in. And Spirit wants you to know that, wants you to have that faith that everything that you went through wasn't for nothing, okay? It was to get you on the path with the wisdom and the knowledge that you have now. And there's no reason to be afraid of it because you're coming from a different place than you were then. You're coming from a place of strength now because look at everything you've overcome. You're coming from a place of wisdom now because of, of all the lessons that you learned through this past experience. You're coming from a place of surrender because you know that this is meant for you. Like this is, this is really beautiful, okay? And you guys deserve every single bit of this and you should be proud of yourselves. I'm proud of you. You should be happy and ready. Just get excited, guys. Get excited because like, this is the person you're meant to spend your life with. This is the opportunities that are meant for you. This is your path and you're on your way there. It's just absolutely beautiful and I could not be happier for you guys because you guys have earned this. You guys deserve this. So let's go ahead and pull some Oracle messages for you for some confirmation, some clarification, some advice, and um, we'll get some charms and some angel messages for you as well. So archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors, please deliver clear messages, some confirmation, clarification, or advice for my very beautiful, wow, my very, very beautiful Aries. All right, let's see what messages we got for you. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So guys, we are manifesting. We are the creators of our reality. It is important for you to be conscious and aware of your thoughts, okay? If you believe that every person that you meet is going to hurt you or, you know, lie to you, um, or those are the experiences that you're going to have, then we can manifest that. So it's important for you to stay positive, for you to... Stay optimistic for you to really be conscious of your thoughts, to, you know, be on the same wavelength of, you know what, this is my path. I'm going to find the person that's meant for me. We're going to be aligned spiritually. We're going to be aligned emotionally. They're going to treat me exactly the way that I deserve um, because that's what's meant for me. Those are the thoughts that you need to be having so that that's what you're attracting in. And we have very soon clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Yeah, same kind of message with this. This is all about manifesting. You guys are manifesting this person in, okay? This person's coming. You're manifesting it. So make sure you keep your thoughts aligned with what you want to manifest in. The Spirit's saying, be, you know, think about what you want. Get those thoughts aligned because this person's coming. And passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. I'm so glad that you got this, okay? Because... That passion, that doing the things that you love, um, that self-love, that love for life, even you do whatever you have to do, all those little things. Think about all the little things that make you happy, okay? For me, it's bubble baths with sage and crystals and, you know, reading books, and I love going to walk in the woods by my house. Um, these are the things that make me feel alive. These are the things that make my heart happy, okay? Doing these readings make my heart happy. Um, it's important to fill your life with the things that make your heart happy. And when we're aligned with that, when we're doing the things that we are passionate about that make us happy, we attract more and more of it. So Spirit's saying, you know what? You've been doing a lot of work. Be proud of yourself. And on the days where it's harder, on the days where you feel like you're regressing or you're not making as much progress or you're having a sad day, you know, do the things that make your heart sing. That's what's going to attract more to you, okay? I'm so in love with this for you guys. 
Confirmation, clarification, or advice from my very beautiful Aries, please. Confirmation, clarification, or advice from my beautiful Aries, please. What other messages do we have from my beautiful Aries? Ooh. Confirmation, clarification, or advice. There we go. We got two. What do you need to release? Waning moon. And this is that time for that, okay? This is exactly that time. We are now here, okay? It's time to release. So this is about making a list of all the things, whether it's, you know, an actual person, whether it's a situation, whether it was um, something that happened to us that we've been holding on to, the pain from that, whether it's, you know, doubts or fears, you know, make a list, okay? Make a list and then release them to the universe because it is that time there's a new start coming in. It's time to release the things that no longer serve you. And step out of your comfort zone, North Node. So, guys, you know, to meet this person, this person might be different than your usual type of or expectation. This person, you know, you might have to make that online profile. You might have to go to that event that you normally wouldn't. Um, there's something here about needing to step out of your comfort zone, okay? There's a need to try something different, to do something different. And I feel like that's going to bring in new energy as well when we do new things and we step out of our, our little box. You know, it, it ushers in new energy for us. So there's a need for that for you guys this month. We're going to pull a couple of charms and then we will get your angel messages for February, okay? So we have the scissors, okay? There is a need to cut out the things that no longer serve. There's a need to um, cut any cords. If you guys are still feeling very connected to that person, you're having a hard time, you know, releasing or letting go, you can do some research on cord cutting. Maybe that's something that will be very, you know, beneficial for you. It'll really, you know, help you, help you with that mentally, emotionally, and spiritually. There's a need to cut out, you know, thought patterns, things, habits, people that no longer serve you, okay? With that scissors there. There is a lot of abundance coming in for you um, and a lot of big changes, okay? A lot of abundance and a lot of luck because we have the elephant, which signifies abundance. And I do feel like because it's an elephant, you know, it's a grand scale. There's going to be abundance in all forms, in all areas of your life, okay? Not just financial, but I do believe financial abundance is coming in too. And with the butterfly here, big change, big transformation. You guys, this relationship that you, you know, have struggled with that caused you all this pain, it is the catalyst for this huge change for you. Um, you're coming out of it stronger, wiser, almost a totally different person. I think a lot of you, this was the catalyst for a spiritual awakening for you. Um, I'm definitely feeling very spiritual energy here because we have, you know, we have the cross here as well. So guys, there's, you know, enlightenment that's coming. There's a peace that's coming, big change. Things are definitely going in the direction and it's gaining momentum by the moment. Um, I really love that we have the mermaid here. Okay, because I feel like this signifies there's a need for, one for you to go down deep because you can see in this she's holding a little shell and you also have that seashell. Okay, so I feel like there's a need for you guys to go down deep when you do your healing. There might be some things um, that you need to look at from, you know, that are is really down deep, even from like childhood, things that maybe make you struggle with like self-worth issues or abandonment issues. And that, you know, is why these other relationships were so hard for you or so toxic um, or why maybe we held on longer than we should have because there's traumas from, you know, deeper down. There's a need for you to go deeper down. But there's also with that, you know, or, or that mermaid here, there's also magic coming, okay? There's magical experiences. I'm seeing synchronicities, you know, beautiful things aligning for you because you are on the right path now. You are where you're meant to be. So... Things are going to start getting really magical for you guys, and I'm so excited about it. We also have the cat. The cat kind of fell out, so we're going to take it, because this cat always reminds me of the cat in the Queen of Wands, which is 
you know, about your shadow work, you know, going, that's back to that going down deep with that shadow work. It's about looking up the things and the experiences that have hurt us or shaped us so we can bring them to the light, okay, so we can heal them and be aware of them and the effects that they have on our life and our decisions. All right, let's go ahead and grab some angel cards and see what your angel messages are for February. So Archangels, as you watch over and you guide my very beautiful Aries through the month of February, through these major changes and transitions, what messages do you have for them? What messages do you have that will help them the very most? As you watch over and guide them through the month of February, what messages do you have for them? Ooh, and it flew on the floor. One moment, guys. All right, we got three of them. Let's see. Oh, I love this for you. Clairvoyance, Archangel Raziel. I am helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Wow. So guys, some of you guys could be coming into spirit, spiritual gifts or even like breaking ancestral curses, I'm hearing. You know, guys, this, for some of you, these could be patterns that have been, you know, passed down through generations, through your ancestors. The, it's your time. You're breaking those now. Um, I really feel like some of you guys could be getting, you know, coming into spiritual gifts. You guys are ascending, um, definitely having a massive spiritual awakening, especially going deep with that shadow work. You guys are going to see a massive change within yourself. Some of you could even be developing gifts. And speaking of gifts, we have gifts from God, Archangel Sandophon. We angels bring you gifts from your creator. Open your arms to receive. We've been talking about being ready to receive and the universe giving you your blessings this whole reading. And here's that confirmation. I love when they do that. Here's this confirmation. Guys, it is. This is everything that you deserve because everything that you've worked so hard for, okay, this is what's meant for you. And the universe says, be ready. We're giving you those gifts. And victory, Archangel Sandalphon again. Your prayers have been heard and answered. Have faith. So guys, um, Archangel Sandalphon is showing up twice. So it's, maybe this is somebody who's really watching over you at this time. Maybe you do some research into him and what you know he represents and he stands for. Maybe ask him for some guidance and some clarity or, you know, to help you through this healing process. Um, but yes, you guys are going to overcome this. Any fears and doubts that you had that you weren't going to get over this or things weren't going to work out, you guys are, okay? This is the absolutely beautiful confirmation, and I love this for you guys. So I really hope that this helps. Um, when I do these videos, it is always my goal that you guys leave here with something, whether it's confirmation, clarification, advice, hope, inspiration, or sheer entertainment. I hope that you guys got something out of this today, okay? And um, if you want personal prayers for any reason at all, you don't have to specify. You can put the little prayer emoji in the comments down below, guys, and I will go through and I will pray for you personally, okay? I am so proud of you and I'm so excited for what's coming for you because you guys deserve every bit of this. Until next time, I'm sending you guys so much love and light.